I'd like to get some clarity about um, health and health insurance and... Plan B, eh? Um, <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Not likely that I'm going to get in the vortex, so I better get some health insurance. Right. Now, I don't plan to get health insurance, but after I started doing this, this work, um, I definitely had a huge indicator. And uh, one year ago, I had surgery that I paid a lot of money for, and I don't plan to get health insurance still, uh, and I'm not afraid of not having health insurance, but um, I do have a little bit of fear going on because I own my own business and it took a lot of money to pay for my choice to not have it because I don't believe that there is any such thing as health insurance. So I've lived my whole existence not going there. But the well, the, the <laughs> ultimate health insurance is just getting the vortex. But so many people don't know about the vortex. They don't believe in the vortex. They don't know how to get in the vortex. And so the reason that people get health insurance, the reason that the medical community exists as it does at all is because people don't believe in their ability to create their own reality. And so if you don't believe in your ability to create your own reality, then you put some safety nets there to sort of catch you when you fall, so to speak. And we are not saying that there is anything wrong with plan B. What we are saying is that anything that you do that gives you a feeling of relief is a step in the right direction. If you are someone who is not completely sure, feel, not feeling completely stable about your ability to bring yourself into alignment, if you get a little out of alignment, so, and you've had some examples of that that show up in the form of some sort of illness, and the idea of that happening again is still active within you. And so then the idea of a way to more comfortably pay for it occurs to you. And that purchase of that insurance gives you a feeling of relief, then you've stepped in the right direction. In other words, that, that action has helped you close the gap a little. Now, if you keep reaching for the thought that closes the gap, at first it may be action, such as purchasing the health insurance. But if you keep going, if you keep being aware of the vortex and you keep reaching for the best feeling thought you can find and you keep reaching for your feeling of stability, what will eventually happen is you will reach the place that your feeling of stability will be so complete within you that then the health insurance will stick out like a funny sore thumb. In other words, it will feel irrelevant. Yesterday we were talking about how sometimes, in fact, it's very common, people will purchase things or want assets in order to sort of fill a void of feeling not enoughness. And there isn't anything wrong with doing anything that makes you feel better. In fact, it is the basis of what we teach. But then we notice that once someone understands that everything that they want to purchase is because they think that in the having of it, they will feel better, that once you show yourself how simple it really is to get into the vortex and feel better, then suddenly you discover, or not suddenly, more accurately stated, gradually, you discover that you can be in the vortex because you can direct your thoughts. And once you're consistently in the vortex, then a lot of those things that you did want to fill the void become irrelevant to you. And we're, again, we're not trying to talk you out of gathering things and we're not trying to talk you out of buying insurance. We're just saying that there are a lot of things that you do from outside the vortex that once you're consistently inside the vortex become irrelevant to you. Yeah, I'm clear about that. 
Uh, I choose to keep going in the vortex. I'm not afraid of not having insurance, but I do have an, another issue. Um, the surgery that I had called for an oncologist, and I want to not be with an oncologist anymore. Um, in fact, I have to go to that oncologist tomorrow, and every time I go to the oncologist, the fear comes back, and I don't have fear right now. And so I would like to, I really love her, uh, but I would like to say goodbye to her and have her be my real good friend, but I don't want to keep going there and keep checking for something. Um, I, want, I feel that I'm done with it, but the medical profession has told me for the rest of my life I would need to be checked, and I don't believe that. So what I really wanted to do is... So this sort of falls on the heels of what we were talking about earlier. So, so what is the feeling that I'm having? In other words, the, the feeling of fear. Let's just start with the, the feeling of fear. The feeling of fear is the result of discordant vibration. Yes. And the discordant vibration is the result of you focusing upon something wrong with your body and the source within you focusing upon your well-being. So when source focuses upon well-being and you focus upon lack of well-being, the result is split vibration, which is manifested in the form of fear. So we want you to hear, hear us say, we're not interested in helping you curb your behavior at all. Going or not going yes. is irrelevant going to see this doctor or not going is not the subject of this conversation we want you to be aware that when you have the feeling of fear it means that you've got an active discordant thought now you want to say well yeah. i don't think i'd feel this fear if i weren't in a situation where i have to go there in fact you said i don't feel it now i only feel it when i go there but we want to say to you that vibrational discord is there within you and so okay. so whether you go or don't go is irrelevant but getting to the place that you don't feel that fear is what is important because the the fear is the indication of resistance and resistance is what causes a diminishment of physical well-being so if we were standing in your physical shoes the stance that we would take is i'm going to keep i'm going to continue to go because the action is irrelevant i'm going to continue to go so that i can have the exhilarating experience of watching my fear diminish I, I, I'm going to I'm going to continue to go I am so looking forward to being there so in my knowing of my well-being that there's not even a flutter of resistance in my vibration but there's one more thing um, she orders cat scans and cat scans are very expensive now I don't want to do those cat scans anymore then tell her that I don't, I don't think it's necessary at all, but I, tell really, her that. I have really come to love this woman. Yes, and, tell her that. Uh, she thinks I'm kind of different too. She said she wishes <laughs> that all of her patients were like me. But, okay, that's Well, she, she really shouldn't wish for that or she'll be out of business. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I see too. But um, that's the thing I want to do tomorrow, so, to not have the... Tell her, just say to, to her, her, just say to her, this is getting out of hand. It's really, really expensive. I feel it's utterly unnecessary. And uh, I'm just letting you know that I'm going to take a little more control of my experience. I will continue yeah. to see you if you think it's necessary, mostly because I just like you. Yeah, and it, it gives us an opportunity to that's chat true. in this way. And because I think I would like to demonstrate for you the power of my well-being. I think it would be good for you.